Hello. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. As I said in my last vlog, I bought the ID48 from from the big keyboard meet. Um, and today I'm gonna assemble it. But then I was like, you know what? It's literally just like plug and play. Like everything's fully as like everything's fully assembled. And I was like, that's not good enough for a video. Like that's not enough content. So to add to the extra challenge, I thought I would add an extra level of difficulty. So I'm going to put on some fake nails and make it more difficult for me because life is already difficult so why not make it harder i'm just going to be using like double sided tape for this because i'm not really gonna leave this on after the video <laughs> that's too much work and i'm going to suffer and i have to go shopping today so I don't really want to inconvenience myself uh, for more than necessary. Well, I said that, but I, I'm literally putting on long nails to assemble a board that's the easiest to assemble. So, maybe I'm not going to speak. Okay, how stuck is that? Oh shit, it's coming off. I need to use a different tape. One hand done. Both hands are done. Now, everyday tasks are 10 times more difficult. Let's bring out the board. Here's the board. It's literally fully assembled. So technically, I could just put the switches in and the keycaps and call it a day. But I'm going to unscrew it because I need to lube these stock stabs. They're so rattly. It's more. So this actually came with like its own little mini screwdriver. But um, I don't want to use it. It's so long and thin. Like I feel like I'm going to break. Every time I twist this, it feels like this is going to break. So I'm going to... Put on my own screwdriver. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I lost one. So I have to unscrew the PCB. Um, and then we'll change the stabs. Good. The screws is so hard. Bam. Okay, all screws out. Now, let me take out this PCB fold. And unscrew the stabs. Okay, disassembling the stabs. I'm so afraid of like bending the stab. I don't know, maybe like adding the nails just lowers my hand strength. I don't know if it's a psychological thing or if I'm just uh, being more delicate. I will lube, lube. That's the way I feel about you and me, baby. Oh, shit. Ah! Yeah. In there. In there. In there. Just gotta pop it in, right? I just. Oh, fuck. Just gotta pop it. Oh, fuck. Just gotta pop it in. Okay, that only took 20 minutes. Let's screw the stabs back in. Oh god, how do I? How do I? How do I? How do I leave? Let me use try my magnetic. Oh god bless. God bless magnetic screwdriver. Will save me. Now I will put this back in the case. Fuck! Look at that. I did not assemble it properly. I have to, I have to unscrew everything. I'm an idiot! A failure with nice nails. I screw it back in. 
it's right. I'm literally sweating from how stressful that was. Uh, I will be using Duroc lavenders. They, these are lubed and filmed and I bought them lubed and filmed so I don't have to like take them apart and do the lubing and the filming myself with these nails I feel like I will lose my mind and then be eventually moved into a mental institution but they will make me keep my nails so that I'll stay insane okay they're so like silent they're so smooth it's, it's like the smoothest switch I've ever had that was very stressful and I'm now sweating but it's time to put on keycaps that's the final touch so I have some light blue uh, keycaps with like some purple accents these are like clones of the GTK Illusion set um, yeah, I got clothes. I'm I'm not that rich. Watch me struggle to get this out of the box. Oh, to be honest, this is kind of easier with longer nails. Uh -huh. I don't know how you guys get keycaps out of the boxes. If there's a faster way than just sticking your nails in there. Because when I don't have long nails, this takes me so long. Here's the finished board. Is it not super cute? Oh my god, look at that. So adorable. I love it. It's so aesthetic and um, light um, and clean. Very good weight. Let me compare it to my plank. So compared to the plank, this is actually a lot heavier, probably because it came with um, case foam and PCB foam, the plank did not, and they're actually a similar price point, which is very interesting. But the plank um, is from the US, and the, and the ID40 is from China. They're actually like the same, the same height, the same width and uh, height and height uh, the ID48 is a little bit taller because it has extended bezels over here like the bezels here are longer um, very interesting now in comparison to my minivan which is also a cord keyboard um, as I mentioned in the previous video but it's like half a, it's like one key shorter um, so the top row is all 1U, while this one uh, is all 1U and then one 2U over here, so this one's slightly longer. The interesting is, because this is shorter one key, I actually feel like I'm lacking a lot of the keys that I usually use, so I have to like be more creative with the layout that I'm going to use. Um, not that hard. I think it's really fun to come up with very creative layouts, have a different one for every keyboard, um, and figure out how to kind of optimize every single uh, layer that you're using to make sure that you have everything in one board, in a board this small. Super cool. I will say that because of its all, because of its size, um, a lot of the keys, keycaps are like in random. I just put whatever could fit in that slot. Like this is a caps lock key, but this is actually supposed to be an enter key. Like I had to put a 1.25 over here when this is supposed to be tab. Um, but it's fine, it fits. No complaints, it looks cute. The colorway is so cute and I think it matches the lavenders in as well. Um, let's do typing tests. How am I gonna do a typing test? Okay, let's see if I can type these. Um,
Um, so that was terrible. I'm going to film a proper sound test when I don't have these fucking nails on, but here's some ASMR while I still have them on. I cannot keep these on any longer. They are kind of falling off, to be honest. Um, and I can't risk uh, going out and them falling off while I'm on the road. So I will be taking them off and I'll be shooting the rest of this video tomorrow. Goodbye. It is now another day. I've removed the fake nails. I'm not wearing any makeup because I'm not leaving the house. Um, but we're gonna do the sound test without the fake nails. Um, and I took them off like a few hours right after I put them on because I hated it. But it was cute. It was really cute. Anyway, sound test. So that was the last board for 2022, um, see you all in 2023, hopefully I still have money by then, well, we'll see about that, but see you all.